guys, so today's video is going to be based on the Violet Voss um, palette, the Holy Grail. And then I just used, this came out about two years ago, a Divergent Set Palette. And I used just one color as the highlighter color. And um, yeah, and the lipstick is from Maybelline. If I can look. And the name is Dar Daringly Nude. So it's like a light pinkish, mauveish kind of color. So um, if you guys want to know how I how to achieve this look, keep watching. So as the highlighter color, I'm going to use a cream matte color, kind of beige, called Altruistic Almond. And this was from the Divergent uh, palette that came... Uh, well, it was sold to Sephora about two years ago, maybe three. And um, it was four individual palettes. So this was actually my first time using it. And um, yeah, like I said, it's just a matte beige off white type of color as the highlighter that I used for the look. So, as you saw what happened, I'm going to use now on the inner corner, on the inner corner, it's the color, it's called So Jelly. It's a beautiful frosted pinkish color. And I'm just patting it on like so until I achieve that intensity that I am um, looking for. This palette, it's um, the colors, they are well pigmented. I have nothing really bad to say about it. I did notice that depending on the brush that I use, will depend on the amount of color it picks up. And right next to it, I am using Cranberry Splash. And that is actually a, another frosted color. And the name fits it, fits it well because it is actually... A cranberry color it's uh, just frosted and I'm just once again patting it on till I achieve the intensity or opacity desired and as you can see I'm often going back and forth looking at the other eye just making sure that the application is actually even And then in between as a transition color, I'm usually I'm using actually a combination. The first one is called transition, which is like a matte uh, medium brown color. And then the one next to it is called hashtag, which is like a it's another matte pumpkin orange color. The reason I used it both together, I tried the transition, which is a matte medium brown color. I don't know. I didn't feel that you could actually see it too much against my skin tone. So I found that by mixing it, I got a better color payoff. And so that's why I mixed both of them. And the camera isn't picking it up much, but you can definitely see it better when I mixed it in than when I put the transition color. Then the next one is going to be at the bottom. It's called Wine and Dine. And once again, the name definitely fits it to a T. It's a matte color, and it's actually just a wine color, as you can see. And I'm going to apply that on the outer part of my eye. And I'm actually um, using an, a regular eyeshadow brush, and I'm just being very meticulous as to how I am applying it so that I can get a nice sharp edge on the outer corner and have a really good definition on it. So like that, when I do go back in it to clean it out and define the shape a little more, I don't have too much to go around it. 
So, and I'm also being kind of careful how I'm depositing the color. So I'm just taking my time to ensure evenness. And also the correct positioning of how I want actually everything angled out on the outer corner without me having to work so hard when I go around to clean it up. And now I'm just going to take a fluffy, kind of stiff brush. This brush is rather dense. It's from Revlon. And I'm applying color on it. So once I achieve the shape how I wanted it, I'm actually using this brush just to um, blend it in a little bit. and diffuse it somewhat. So that is actually what I'm doing at this point. And once again, I keep always um, looking over at my other eye just to make sure that I have them looking the same. especially since that's my bigger eye. And so now I'm going to get my uh, makeup remover wipes and just uh, clean around the eye, any fallouts. This palette, actually the colors, it's not very chalky. So that's good. Um, maybe just the some of the frosted color, but I'm just cleaning and defining, like I told you earlier, that edge, that winged out edge to make sure everything looks nice and even. Now I am going to put on my eyeliner. This is from Avon. It's in black. It's called Extra Lasting Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. Now I'm just uh, powdering a little bit. I already had my foundation on and I did contour, so. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply my eyebrows. Oh no, oops. I'm putting on a little bit of eyeliner on. You know, I did forget to show, oh, I think I edited and, for, and didn't realize that I actually put the colors underneath my eye as well. And I put them in the same order, that frosted pink in the inner corner, um, cold so jelly in the middle, the cranberry splash, and then on the outer corner, the wine and dine. That's all I did. And now I'm just putting on a black eyeliner, which this one is from Avon too. And that's what I'm doing now. So now what I'm going to do is get my um, eyelashes and these are, oh, these are e.l.f. eyelashes, a dollar. I bought them quite a few, quite a long time ago. Don't remember when, but yeah, those are the e.l.f. eyelashes. I don't know if they're dollars, if they're still a dollar or if they went up one to two or three bucks. I also did apply mascara and I put on the Clinique High Impact Mascara. And um, basically, yeah, that's how I achieved this look. And um, once I let the glue dry, I did go over it with a little bit more of some eyeliner on top. And... Um, that was it. So here is the finished look. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love doing videos for you guys. So here's the finished look, guys. 
once again, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you would like to see on the upcoming videos. Remember, this channel is for you, and I have all the passion and love to create them for you. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, of course, share, tell your friends, recreate, and unleash the makeup pouring you all the time, bud. Peace. Till next time.